Archaeologists indicate that the site of present-day Wichita, which is located at the junction of the Arkansas Rivers in south-central Kansas, has served as a trading center and meeting place for thousands of years. Early inhabitants were nomadic, following the game they hunted throughout the central continent. European explorers may have first visited Kansas as early as 1541, when the Spaniard Francisco Vasquez de Coronado hunted for the mythical golden cities of Quivira. French and American explorers followed in later centuries. The westward expansion of the United States created conflict between the Native Americans and settlers. Explorers had turned the prairies the Great American Desert or the Prairie Desert and became the logical site to permanently move the Native Americans. Great herds of buffalo and pronghorn antelope roamed the vast open lands living off a tall prairie and buffalo grass. Attitudes changed as pioneers moving to Oregon and California found Kansas land not to be a desert. The Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854 opened the land to settlement, which reversed the government's promise of a permanent home to the Indians. The forces of westward expansion and financial rewards attracted the first white settlers to the area in the 1850s and 60s, some of whom realized great profits from hunting and trapping the wildlife and trading with the native population. Among them were James R. Meade, Jesse Chisholm, William Griffinstein, and William Mathewson, men who later shared a vision for a city on the prairie. From 1860 to 1880 was known as the Great Slaughter on the Plains. This was when bison were systematically slaughtered for their hides. Wichita was a collection center for the buffalo hides, where they were then shipped east for tanning to be made into clothing, robes, and belts for machines. In 1871, there were estimated to be about 70 million bison in North America. By 1900, only about a thousand remained. The fate of the pronghorn also plummeted from the millions to the thousands. The city of Wichita was incorporated in 1870 as a village due to the efforts of Meade, Griffinstein, and other pioneers and became county seat of Sedgwick County soon thereafter. A short-lived army post known as Camp Beecher was also established nearby, providing a market for local businesses. In 1872, the railroad arrived and Wichita became the destination for Texas cattle being driven north along the Chisholm Trail for shipment by rail to eastern markets. This industry, coupled with the grain and milling market, led to rapid growth of the community. By 1886, Wichita was incorporated as a city of first class and was established as the region's principal city. This area changed from a sparsely populated valley with abundant wildlife that included buffalo to a bustling prairie town in the space of just 15 years. Native Americans, farmers, town builders, and cowboys all used and competed for the natural resources of this area to promote their economic and social interest. By 1875, the population of Sedgwick County was more than 8,000, and the rowdy lifestyles of the cowboys clashed with the desires of those who hoped for a more civilized Christian environment in which to live and raise their children. Farmers also resented the trampling of their field, the contamination of the eastern livestock with Texas ticks, and the bank's destructive interest rates. Their combined lobbying efforts moved a quarantine line west, prohibiting further cattle drives to the area and stimulating a growth in agriculture and manufacturing. Thus, Wichita was on its way to becoming the largest city in Kansas.